How y'all doing? I'm Daryl Spells and I'm going to be teaching you organic chemistry. Organic chemistry has a long and varied history, but our first organic chemists weren't chemists at all. They were mostly medicine women, medicine men, and they kept track of the fact that they interacted with things in, in nature and they caused different effects. So for example, if they chewed on willow bark, they knew they got some pain relief. Well, what actually comes out of the willow bark is this structure right here, which is aspirin, acetylsalicylic acid. That gave rise to the idea of vitalism. Vitalism said that organic compounds come from living things. However, this theory was discredited with this reaction. So, a, a, Dr. Wallers comes up with this compound and says, I make this and I want to dry it. And so he heats it to dry, and what he thinks he's going to get is just that same compound, except for it's just dry. But instead, he got this compound, and that compound is urea, which is an organic compound. So from an inorganic species came an organic species, which suggests that you can make an organic compound without it coming from an organic species. So why do we care? That's probably the most important thing you want to ask. Why do we care about organic chemistry? You interact with organic chemistry all the time in your life. Plastics, pharmaceuticals, this is all organic chemistry. And one interesting thing about organic chemistry is if I were to show you these two compounds. And to your eye, they probably look exactly the same. All my black atoms are carbons. All my white ones are hydrogens. All my red ones are oxygens. These two things are actually mirror images of each other, and they are not the same thing. And this one right here actually causes liver failure. This one right here is great for treating your arthritis. And so this is one of the reasons we really care about organic chemistry. And so for my class, it is really designed for students that have taken general chemistry. You didn't have to be a whiz in general chemistry to take my class. I certainly wasn't. And our goal is to get the fundamentals of the rules of organic chemistry, because that's one of the big things, is there's some rules we got to follow. And then we'll get into how we look at organic compounds, because we don't have great microscopes to do that. And so there are a lot of techniques that we will learn on how to, to look at molecules in organic chemistry. And then finally, we'll look at how do we make compounds in organic chemistry, trying to tie together several reactions and make something that we want. And so I look forward to seeing you very soon.